Do you know what the six minute marathon is? No, but I'm ready. It's the only marathon that you don't have to sweat for. Well, I would rather chew glass than run, so this is a much better option me for too. me. The six minute marathon is just you try to answer as many questions as you can in six minutes. Wow, you got a lot. Okay, I do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and I haven't seen them. All right, start the clock. What's your go to song right now? Um, probably something from my man, from Dawes. I get a lot of new music around the house. He's writing a lot right now, so I'm gonna go with some, some new music of Is his. Is he writing any songs for you? Maybe. I hope so. He so better. I know, exactly. <laughs> if you like it. Exactly. If you don't like it, it's about it's someone about else. Me. Yes. <laughs> Would you rather give up alcohol for a year or your phone for a month? <gasps> alcohol for a year. Really? Yes. I feel a I'm, little too connected to my phone. I feel too connected to alcohol. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite red carpet outfit that you have worn? Um, my favorite red carpet? Oh gosh, that's, that's like children. Tough. Um, I, I, I'm going to say most recently I love the SAG Awards just because that's the thing that's top of my head. Jason so Wu made this like beautiful black, like very classic sort of off the shoulder gown. And you did, I know, a long I'm, I don't stalk you, but you did have that long ponytail, <laughs> yeah. it's so pretty. Thank you. I loved your wedding dress. How did you pick me? <gasps> I wanted to do something different because we were getting married in our backyard mm -hmm. and I didn't want to wear the traditional white dress and yeah. So I went with pink. It was amazing. Thank you. But this actually is a good segue. What's the one word you are guilty of using too often? For me, it's amazing. What word do you use too much? I might use amazing too often. I don't know. I'm terrible at noticing those things about myself. That's good. That makes you normal. It does it. And not overly self-critical. <laughs> Congratulations. I am overly self-critical though. <laughs> Who would you most like to be stuck in an elevator with? Mm, Michelle Obama. Oh. Yeah. That's a good one. When you walk into a bar, what do you typically order? I'm, I'm a wine girl. Oh. I'm a wine enthusiast. White or red? Red. Or pink? I, it depends on the time of year. Yes. Right now, I like a chilled red, like a Beaujolais or something. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even know you were allowed to chill red. I yes. thought you were supposed to cup it in your hands to make it room temp. I mean, I guess depending on what kind of red it is, yeah. but yeah, I like a chilled red this time of Does year. Does it ever make you wake up in the middle of the night? Yes. I call it wine o'clock. You know, you what wake up in the it? middle like of the night. Like your body processing the sugar I or something? Think so. Oh, it's no good. No good. Not that that's happened to me. Okay. <laughs> if you had to be any one of your TV or movie characters for the rest of your life, which one would you be? I mean, Rebecca's gone through a little too much heartache for me. I did a movie like a long time ago with Diane Keaton called Because I Said So, like a big romantic oh, comedy. I loved that movie. I would probably be that character. Her name is Millie. She just seemed to, like, have a good time. Feel free to be yourself. But remember, yeah, but go. don't, 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 uh -huh. don't be too, you know, forthcoming with all your failed oh, relationships. Okay, okay, I got it. Oh, okay. And oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. I love you. Okay. Honey, I love you. That mystery I love you. Okay. She was a Cute. chef. She had a crazy mom, but her mom really loved her a lot. She had great, she had sisters. I've always wanted sisters. I live in that world. I think so, Lots too. Lots of cute men vying for her. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> okay, who's your biggest role model? Oh, that's tough. I, I can't say I have one specific role model. I feel very lucky to have a very tight-knit group of, of encouraging, supportive women in my life. So I sort of look to them as a collective. Mm. They're Friends inspiring. Friends or older, younger? Both. Yeah. All. All types. Yeah. What's the worst pickup line ever used on you? <laughs> Does anyone tell you you look like Mandy Moore? <laughs> it's because it's a non-starter. Where do you go from there? Um, yes. <laughs> I am. Like, yeah. So it didn't work. Never a good way to start a conversation. <laughs> Did not work. What's the most important trait in a partner? Um, hmm. A moral compass. Most important trait. I like that. Yeah. If you could relive one year, which one would it be? I mean, there were some pretty big milestones last year, uh, but I feel like 2018 was brutal for most of us. Um, I don't know. I'm happy to just keep plugging along, moving forward, one foot in front of the other. I think that makes more sense. You know, Who wants to go back? No, I don't want to live in the past. No. No regrets, but you know. What's something you still want to check off your bucket list? We'll focus on the future. The <laughs> focus on the future. An eye to the future. I, hmm. I mean, I want to have a family. That's sort of what's most top of mind for me right now. Mm. Yeah. M more than one? 
Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. It's in the stars. I feel it. <laughs> What's the last thing you searched for on Google? Last thing I searched for on Google. Oh, God. I'm terrible at these. Probably, you know what? Coffee. Oh. I'm a big coffee connoisseur, so like coffee in the general vicinity of where I was staying. Here What's your in favorite New York. coffee? I I love making coffee at home. I'm a big pour over girl, mm. but like I. Wait, you know, what's like, a pour over girl? It's basically like making an individual cup of coffee. Okay. Like you grind the beans, yes. you have the filter, and you just like pour the water over it. All That's right. essentially what a pour over different is. Different than a French press. Different than a French press, different than like a coffee maker. I, I wake up excited to make my pour over you, in the morning. It, you grind the beans, you I buy grind them the beans. whole. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coffee's really important to me too. I, except for I didn't know what the comb over was. Honestly, I mean the pour over. <laughs> the comb over. What or who is your spirit animal? What or who is my spirit animal? Um, I don't know. Ugh, I'm bad at these questions. I'm sorry. Isn't but it you know, annoying? It's, a, have, it's actually hard. It's like a marathon. Honestly, I have a deck of cards called Animal Spirit Cards, and my friends and I will pull our spirit cards. Like, every, when I we climbed Mount Kilimanjaro last year, which oh. was incredible, and every day before we, like, set out for the day, we would pull our spirit cards. Okay, so you should know who your spirit animal is. But it is. changes on a daily basis. I mean, one day you're a bat, one day you're Look, a We've got scorpion. four seconds left. Just pick an animal. Um, I'm some sort of cat. <laughs> okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, like, a, a cougar. Uh, oh, I yeah. like it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Mandy, thank you. Thank you.